There are so many streaming sites. What the f Complaining with Rakutsko! Listen, I'm sure you and everybody's brother, sister, mother, father, whoever the hell, knows that there are too many streaming sites. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's probably millions of videos out there right now detailing the ridiculousness that is how many streaming sites there actually is. Well, I'm here to give my opinion on the subject too. So, let's get started. I'm gonna try to explain this in the best way that I can, at least in my point of view, for why there probably is so many streaming sites and why the market has just been ridiculously oversaturated with so many subscriptions. What started out as Netflix doing DVDs essentially turned into Netflix going into the digital platform and creating a huge sort of test opening for a lot of subscription-based services to really try a different form of you know, how to consume media. Smells chocolatey, eh? Since YouTube was already a big thing, and it was, you know, catching more and more traction, especially with, you know, big YouTubers like PewDiePie and all those kids' channels and whatnot, what have you, whatever. Obviously, a lot of these companies had their own original content, or they just wanted to be able to have an easy way for individuals, consumers, to be able to get their product in, you know, their format while also gaining profit off of it. So Netflix eventually started creating their own original shows. Now while those original shows obviously have a lot of fan base behind them, especially shows like Sabrina or, you know, Stranger Things, or uh, some other, put something up on the screen that I can't remember right now. I don't know another one right off the top of my head. But Netflix has a lot of originals now. And being that way, they've, you know, kind of ventured off from, you know, just having regular content into turning into sort of an original content platform. Now, that's not to say, obviously, that they're getting rid of a lot of their other type of, you know, show slash movie slash whatever the hell. Obviously, they're still within that avenue, and I don't think they're going to be going away from that anytime soon. But with all of the other streaming sites, it does look like a lot of the media on Netflix is kind of sort of back and forth. You see a lot of these, like, show slash movies disappear and reappear randomly. Jurassic Park was on the platform for a little bit there if you were into the whole Jurassic Park craze that went around, I think, a couple months ago. Um, and it was basically just to promote one of their original shows. Since then, obviously, Jurassic Park has been taken off of at least American Netflix. So since these original shows started taking a lot more traction and they're causing Netflix to basically raise their prices, a lot of these other sites such as Hulu, you know, Disney+, Plus especially since it was more recently uh, Amazon Prime and uh, other types of streaming sites. Basically, you know, each site has their own thing, but they also have their own original content. Disney Plus being one of them starting to create, you know, more on the Marvel Universe, which a lot of people are invested in, and I totally understand, because I've watched quite a few of the movies. I haven't watched all of them, but, you know, I can see the appeal behind them. You also have things like Hulu, which uh, a lot of the times tend to bundle things up quite a bit. So you can get like tons of different, you know, subscription services kind of bundled together, which is kind of nice that Hulu's trying to change up the game there a little bit at the very least to kind of make things a little less uh, congested. But I mean, you get things like, uh, TV, live TV, which I don't think a whole lot of people are really too concerned about these days since cable is kind of <whistles> going down. Although you do have companies like Spectrum, if you live within a Spectrum or Mediacom area, starting up their own streaming services strictly for live TV with, you know, NFL, NHL, uh, sports packages, essentially, ESPN, whatever, what have you. 
you know, a lot of these sites tend to have their own, but when you bundle with it, it tends to kind of sort of make things a little bit cheaper. And you do get a little bit more content out of it, and that really depends on whether you're going to use that content at all. I don't watch live TV, so I don't really see the appeal in it. But I'm sure a lot of other people would want to have live TV, probably the older generation, so to speak. I don't really have time to watch live TV anymore. I'm not going to schedule my day around something that's going to turn on at 5 p.m. No, if I'm going to watch it, I'm going to watch it right then and there at any point that I want. That's kind of the appeal of a lot of these subscription sites. However, you do come with the fact that a lot of these subscription sites are just just coming out and they're... To take take Verve slash Country Roll Funimation, for example. At one point, Verve slash Crunchy Roll was in cahoots with Funimation. And since then, Funimation has started their own streaming service, which essentially kind of sort of pulled most, if not, well, at the very least, their original, like, their, their newer content that's specific to their Funimation platform now. Uh, that's that's been taken away from Verve slash Crunchy. I'm just gonna say Crunchyroll from now on. So what used to be a really really big type of uh, anime place where most people was where you know were getting their anime from has kind of sort of become just High Dive and Crunchyroll, which is still quite a bit of anime. Though it does suck that you are very limited with your Funimation shows since Funimation has been coming out with quite a bit more shows lately. But I digress. With a lot of these things doing that, pulling away from more companies, we see a lot more in the market just strictly being HBO, Cinemax, Stars, stuff like that, getting their own streaming services. I mean, I understand, but when you have prices like 15 to $16 every month, you think of most people end up only probably getting maybe one or two of those things and just kind of sticking with it until they get sick of it and then the next month they decide to get the other streaming service so they can start watching that. And I think that's the way that most people end up doing it these days because that's really the only way that you can do that, especially with the way that the economy is. Regardless of all this, I, I get it. I understand. Things like Netflix need more money for those subscription services in order to fund their own original content. It's essentially a, um, a, a platform that is creating their own content for the viewers while also trying to get funded by the viewers. Netflix is a huge company. A lot of people have that kind of money. It's just kind of sort of the same way. I mean, these studios get paid tons and tons of money, and if these shows end up bombing, they get canceled, which is a really shitty thing with Netflix since they tend to cancel shows every other fucking month. You see a lot of these really, really good shows get canceled before they're finished out, and you're left hanging, and you're like, wow, Netflix, thanks. It's really, really cool. I'm sorry that this video turned into shitting on Netflix. I just realized how much I'm shitting on Netflix. Look, I love the platform. I have a Netflix subscription, and I regularly use it. Probably not as regularly as I should, being that I pay $16 a month for it. But, I mean, they've got different plans if I really wanted to go to standard definition. Who wants to go to standard definition? But, I don't know. It just, it's a little sickening to see. And it really, really irritates me when there's just so many options. And usually options are such a great thing to have. But now when it comes to spending almost a whole paycheck on every single streaming service out there because, hey, here's one movie right here that you want to watch. We got to have a subscription to see it. Oh, you want to watch a different movie? Sucks. You got to go over to that platform. Oh, you're looking for a TV show? No, 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 That's all the way the fuck over here. What are you doing over here? You paid for this subscription? No, 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 no. You better go pay for that subscription instead. Look. Eventually, I'm sure there's probably going to be something that's going to happen to kind of conjugate all of these streaming platforms together. And if not, we're kind of all fucked and we're just going to have to pick and choose. Unless you're rich and you have enough money to afford all of those streaming services. In which case, congratulations. Most of us don't.
I think that's really all I had to say about the subject. It was mostly complaining, but I just... I get why there's so many streaming services. These platforms want to make money. They don't have things like TV subscriptions through cable to really focus on anymore they've they've all turned over to the internet because more people have more access to internet than ever before so with the fact that most people are relying more on internet of course these streaming services are going to try and profit off of that i mean that's what they're meant to do they're trying to create a bigger platform and essentially the biggest one ends up winning i mean sure netflix is still pretty top of the line right now Disney Plus has a shitty mobile app and a TV app, for that matter, that barely work most of the time, so you have to fucking watch it on the web. Or, at the very least, you've got sites like Crunchyroll or, you know, Funimation, whose UI is so ridiculously outdated that it matches nothing to what any other streaming site might have. It's just little things. But I'm not going to talk about that here, because that's a whole completely other video. So, thank you for watching, I guess. Let me know what you think about all of the streaming sites and how many of them you can name right off the top of your head down in the comments below. Or if you genuinely just want to chat about the ridiculousness of the amount of streaming services that you probably pay for, put that down there below too. I'd love to have a conversation with you. But, we'll catch you on the next complaining video. Bye.